Hello! Welcome back. We are playing... As I said in my last video, I was thinking about doing a sub, uh, Subnautica playthrough. <laughs> so, I was thinking we'll play uh, just regular survival. But at the same time, there's a lot of work in that. And it's sort of annoying. And I, I don't... <clears throat> I think I'll just do a creative for now. Uh, just to mess around. You know, build a base maybe. You know, just something quick just to mess around with. Because for the game Subnautica, um, if you haven't played it, um, you basically have to go all across the world to uh, get stuff. Like there's an island over there and there's one over there but most of the time you have to go all across the world just to get different resources and stuff to build your stuff so basically I mean I thought about it and I was like I sort of want to just do a creative for right now you know build a base you know because I don't really have the editing software to edit out the um like uh, what you call it um, the just literally just swimming around and driving you know around just to get your stuff so basically I'm just gonna oh shoot I'm gonna find a good area good flat area um, man there are a lot of these oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> yeah I don't wanna be near that um, I think I'll go over this way. Sort of close to the pod. Because I know there's some flat-ish areas around here. I sort of want to be near this because, you know, this looks cool. And plus in a game that's where you get, you know, unless you're a lubricant and stuff or other things and <laughs> stuff to build. Cause down here, this area is pretty cool. Yeah, I think I'll make my base right around here. Because this area is relatively flat. <coughs> is that a seamoth thing? Yeah. Um, basically, in the game, you would scan that. And you'd get, like, research. I'm just going to start out semi-simple. But I always like the glass walkways I like to put in a lot of glass because you know it's just it get, I feel like it gets pretty claustrophobic if you just have like no windows but you can't really have a lot of windows and survive right off the bat, like right off the bat or whatever because you know you don't have the resources for it but first I'm gonna put a window here window here and then um, grass here, oh, whatever, leaves, and then um, window here, and the window here, and then I'm going to get the ladder, I'm going to put it here, and I'm going to also put another one there, just to keep things symmetrical. Down here, I'm only going to put in uh, reinforced walls because basically, you know, just I don't know if it does it in creative, but basically in survival, if you have too much glass uh, holes, like the walls and stuff will start breaking because it's too much pressure. You like I saw one YouTuber a long time ago. He said. Just put a, make a room like this, make a couple of them around your base, and just make all the walls reinforced. And then that'll bring up your structure, like, uh, density or whatever, so it doesn't fall apart. <laughs> but basically in this room, I'll basically just, uh, put a nuclear reactor. Which also looks sort of good, because these reinforced walls look sort of, like, protective. And I'll put one of these down, just, you know. And I'll also probably need a... 
probably put a fabricator down here just to make it easy so I don't have to go up and down, up and down. <coughs> put a locker. I'll put another one over here too. Okay. And then I'm not going to deal with this because I don't really need it in creative. Um, I'm just going to, well, yeah, I guess you don't really need a fabricator in creative unless you're really making stuff, but a lot of stuff here is sort of pointless just in creative, but it, you know, just, I'm just making a base that if I was in survival or whatever, this is what I would make if I had the resources. Um, I think, um, I'm gonna put in two of these if there's enough room. No, uh, okay, that'll work. Sometimes they like glitches them off the wall. I don't know, but not like it really matters. <sighs> um, <laughs> I'll put a desk right here. Um, chair, shop up on these, right there. Um, I was thinking about making one where it would be like a whole colony down here, but I, I think I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it look like it's a colony. Like, you know, pe like a group of people that came off of the ship came here and are just, you know, surviving until someone can, they figure out how to cure the disease and someone comes and helps them. Or they build the rocket ship, but yeah. Um, I don't know why, oh yeah, cause that, but, um, I'll put this here. I'm trying to have a couple desks around the place. I'm gonna make it a different angle so it looks like you know people have been here. Actually, I'm gonna just deconstruct that. Um, put one of those there, and that's because I'm going to put a. Uh, oh yeah, I can't because of the bottom one. I have to go out. This, oh, that's a little disgusting. I forget if you can. Right. I don't think you can grab him. No, you can't. Alright. So, basically, actually, you know what would be cool? Having, like, a whole maintenance system under the, like, regular. Like, that's just made out of these compartments and stuff. So, basically, it'll just go under the whole system. I'll make it one more farther. Uh, actually, can I get another one? Yes, I can. Okay, so basically this one will be the reactor. Let me get the wall. And then down here, I'll put this. I'll put a window here. And a window there. Eh, I guess that doesn't really matter because there's going to be stuff in there. Yeah, I... I really hate these things in the actual game. They're really annoying. But, yeah, up here I'm gonna have this. Um. I sort of want, like, um. Little, like, outdoor grow beds or whatever. What do you call them? Where are they? Yeah, outdoor grow beds around the place. Because they're, like, you know, experimenting and stuff. That's what I would think. I'm just trying to, you know, give it a little bit of a story or something. I don't know, to be honest. But, um, this would be like the center, I think. I'll make this like the center area. Everything's going to go around this, I think. That's what I'll do. Yeah. See, I'll put this down here so that I can put this up here. And then they can like swim out on like a hatch like this, and then they can go down here. I think I'm gonna put it in an angle so it doesn't stick out as far. Yeah, like that. All right. So basically, this is gonna go around here. And um, do I want to 
wanna push. Can I push? No, I can't. Alright. So, um, I'll put a thing right here. I guess I'll make like towers on each corner. Each one will be a little bit different. So, um, I think I'll just continue with this. Oh, I can't. That's pretty dumb. Wait, can I put glass in this? Oh, no, I can't. Alright, um, I'll do that. Sorry, man, I'm just, just getting a little tired. <laughs> yeah, um, basically, I think this series will probably just be me building different bases, different styles of bases. Okay, I'm about to just kill this thing. It's really creeping me out. I, I hate the, like, disease in this game. It's, I mean, it helps with the, it really does make the story a lot better. But... It just looks sort of weird. I mean, I guess diseases, you know, <laughs> I do that. And I hate this thing. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Um. Okay, let's continue with the maintenance tunnels. I think I'll put a compartment. Uh, can I? Okay, yes, I can. Put one there. Actually, no, I won't. Um, I'm gonna continue this. I'm gonna make a T. Okay, then something's gonna branch off over there. Um, up. Oh, hello. I will continue in a minute. Sorry. Okay, sorry for that uh, delay, but basically, I'm I'm gonna have to end it here, cause uh, yeah. But this is some pretty good progress so far, and in the next video, I think we'll finish this base or continue with it, and maybe we'll make a base that goes a whole way across the map. That would be pretty crazy. Uh, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Check out Pelgo G on YouTube, my friend, and uh, have a great day.